Item number SCP-2337 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2337 is to be kept in a standard avian habitat cell with soundproofing. Personnel are required to wear Level 3B Update 5A Update 7A Update 26M Ear Protection while handling SCP-2337. Transportation for SCP-2337 is to be carried out using a portable soundproof crate. Though SCP-2337 has no need for nutrition, dummy worms, note SCP-2337 calls them strangle fruits, are to be provided upon request and not restricted as a reward for good behavior. Due to SCP-2337's poor grasp of cause and effect, Punishments and rewards will inevitably result in frustration on part of involved personnel. As of December 5th, 2014, all staff are advised to not attempt to emulate SCP-2337's speech patterns in its presence, and are assured that SCP-2337 understands some degree of human English. Description SCP-2337 is a male corncrake. It is sapient, sentient, and capable of speech, and all of its vocalizations are extremely loud, with a minimal observed volume of 90 decibels, and a maximum of redacted. Though this can and has caused damage to personnel's hearing, SCP-2337 is oblivious of its ability and is generally friendly with Foundation personnel. SCP-2337's vocalizations take the form of a language tangibly related to English. It often appears to be a word solid, but upon closer inspection, can have meaning in English through a series of vague innuendos, metaphors, rhyme, and arbitrary insertion of the word cack. As such, SCP-2337 will answer to the name Dr. Spanko. Initial reports of SCP-2337 came from unusual noises from a field near Beep U6UK, which led to its capture in the same area. Upon containment, SCP-2337 appeared to take hostile action against Foundation personnel, emitting blasts of noise that ruptured the eardrums of three agents. Upon later examination, it was revealed that SCP-2337 was attempting to make friendly conversation. Addendum. Since the containment of SCP-2337, several saving creatures contained by the Foundation have displayed knowledge of its existence and have expressed interest in meeting with SCP-2337. The reason for this has yet to be fully understood, though it is believed that SCP-2337 has some sort of status as an authority figure to several particularly dangerous beings. Keter reclassification has been proposed for this reason, but it is currently denied due to SCP-2337's apparent cooperation with the Foundation. Interview with SCP-2337, December 5th, 2014. Encryption key accepted. Please state your name for the record. Jack, I'm Christian Herr Dr. Ankerflex. Incorrect name, name slapped. With SCP-233 and Deepin. Then complicate a cost estate. Thank you. And how? Listen, SCP-2337. SCP-2327 draws a prolonged gasp. <gasps> it me! Yuck! <laughs> you seem to have a pre-established relationship of sorts with several of the more dangerous creatures in our custody. And how? Yes, please elaborate on the exact nature of this relationship. It done be so forth. Evil source seem tricky and is for sorth and Ruth. Come packing the store brand house dirty cakes for moth stuff. Slavey kins grew boarded and bearded from as from Jesse C. Peak to unknown cutters, my good rabbit. Three winged hobo stack over and over. Alaka Sam Cuck. Please repeat that statement in a dialect used by the Foundation. Ten for Dax Dax! SCP-2337 begins ordering for three consecutive minutes. Please discontinue ordering. That make more sense. We need you to cooperate and explain your answer in a coherent way. Like a conjuring molasses? 
and what the spangled Frieza said, but <laughs> and what the spangled Frieza said for shame this, ask like the right curry cue molasses. You're not hearing me, are you? Only with a blast and cock flip my amigo solid duck. Woohoo, eastward bound, both found disappointment. It's not your tations, Dr. Spanko Cock, you M as for a tall explaining it. SCP-2327 begins cagging angry and proceeds to climb up to Dr. Beep's face and attempt to peck his eyes out. SCP-2337 is quickly sedated with a tranquilizer thought, and Dr. Beep suffers only minor scratches. This has been noted the only time that SCP-2327 has displayed hostility.